Bruno in Croatia writes to me and he says, Paul, I see a lot of audiophile products using SMD components, and especially in DACs. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion on how SMD components sound? Are they as good as classic electronic components in audio signals? Thanks and stay awesome. Well, thanks, Bruno. I'm not sure I ever was awesome, but I'll take it. Okay, SMD, surface mount devices. And boy, you know, well here, what is an SMD? Um, so a surface mount device, let's see if we can, I don't know, I can't see what the camera's seeing, but it's those little chips here. If the iPhone is gonna cooperate, you can see. And those make DACs possible, at least today's DACs. Now, when we first started in DACs, there were no surface mount products. There were only through-hole products. So all of our chips had legs, and we made holes in the circuit boards, and we inserted them, and made it all work. But now, chips like even that chip has something like 300 legs on it. 300 points of connection all to go inside of that piece of silicon and do whatever it does. And that happens over there to be an FPGA, I think. Now let's see, what is that? Sorry. It's a DAC. Uh, nope, that is an FPGA. Okay. So, um, the amount of connection, there's no way you could make a chip with 300 or 100 or 50 legs on it. Just not going to happen. So they were really limited back then. And as things have developed, it's made it a lot easier to make more sophisticated complex parts because of surface mount devices. Now what you're referring to specifically is not the chips, which I think we can all agree are better because of surface mount technology but the passive components, the resistors, the capacitors, those questionable. Resistors in general, I think are as good if you choose the right kind, and there's all kinds of different sounding surface mount resistors uh, and certainly capacitors. I would say we've taken a step back with respect to capacitors and probably on equal footing when it comes to resistors, maybe maybe better because one of the things that service mount devices do is they do get rid of those legs and longer traces and so we can pack a whole bunch more into a much smaller space. Capacitors on the other hand, you know, we still, I even on our, many of our products, we stay with conventional through hole capacitors because of the way they sound. So on, on our more expensive products like the BHK, we've stuck with, uh, it's a combination of, of, of SMD and, and through-hole parts. But in general, all the good sonic parts, the coupling caps, the important resistors, those are all through-hole still to this day because yeah, they sound better. And you just can't do the film and the foil. You can't use Teflon and the exotic materials that actually sound quite a bit better in a capacitor, in a film capacitor especially, with a surface mount device. And if you can, I don't know about it. And you certainly can't get big ones. So, yep, I would say caps, not so good. And that's why you'll find in PS Audio products, we will revert to big film caps where needed, and then everything else could be surface mount. So, all right, thanks for the question. Take it easy, Bruno. Bye.